let's get ready for diwali hi this is priya here welcome back to my channel if you're stopping by thank you and if you're returning a warm welcome i have this sticker book from happy planner the essential holidays and this was the diwali page as you can see i used up a lot of this last year so there's hardly anything left to use and i might pull pull in from here and i also want to get these two stamps used this is actually from craft angles this is a diwali set and uh, i'll just open it and this is just a diwali it says happy diwali and this is a lamp and these are all uh, fireworks that we could use and uh, this is a coco daisy one again this is a mandala one and i had used it last year and i will also uh, show you my spread from last year love how colorful this one is i also brought in some stamps inks are ready and uh, this is the october marigold sticker sheet from designer chameleon and i also have a stencil pulled out just in case i might need to bring in more patterns so that is my thought process i don't have a very clear idea of what i'm going to do let's do it together these are from plani thing and this is live love posh and uh, these are smaller uh, happy planner uh, washi tape i'm going with the scheme color scheme i usually pick two or three but for diwali week i usually end up with uh, all the colors it gets very colorful and i just thought that i will narrow it down to three this time so it will be re uh, yellow green and red so that's why i have these ones pulled out that's my thought i would come in do a something in the middle here so that i will have the top and the bottom for function and again i'm thinking that uh, since i i have all of this on the stamping blocks i have all of all the elements ready to go we'll be going with this versifying was a fine clear in glamorous that was that is the deepest red i have in my collection this one tested out all of this this is a, a scrap piece of paper lying around and pretty detailed intricate designs in here so i really like it so i'm just going with this i will bring in a yellow later let me just dig through my stash and get a yellow as well yellow or a green yeah let's let's wait on that and i thought i will just have the mandalas in the center more like a um pattern so that it can together look like a long rangoli if you don't know what rangoli is those are patterns that it's part of the festivities of the bali you have it's usually um done with you can look up uh, rangoli i'll spell it out for you and it's pretty elaborate and you need you need to be an expert to have a really good rangoli and i usually get the shortcuts i have pre made ones that i can just uh, put it out um, like a jigsaw puzzle and it gives me pretty much the same effect it's a lot of fun if the kids the kids usually help with that and all that so that's my thought process let me just uh, get started on that and i will just fast forward this part see the process and then you can i'll continue talking after i'm done with that part
So now that we're done with that part, I thought I would come in and have some of these marigold flowers. Now that we have some decorative elements laid down, I think I will just bring in some functional boxes. So I'm going with uh, Mojo Jojo plants, jewel tone shapes, rainbow shapes, and glitter boxes. I love, we Indians love uh, some glitter for all our festivals and occasions and special events. So I might, uh, yeah, I believe there is a yellow, yeah yellow or a golden one so uh, i'll pull from all three of these uh, sticker books i wanted to bring in this shape uh, especially this shape the half circles because i like to uh, make my own lambs and lambs are again it's a festival of light so if you don't know what Diwali is, this uh, Essential Holidays book gives you a brief intro of what it is. So um, this is, it's a celebration, it's a festival of lights. So we have, light is a big deal and I usually bring in a lot of light lamb in the form of lamps and I usually use this shape. It's customary for me to bring in this shape and I usually make it into lamps and uh, yeah uh, so I'll just get working on some of the functional aspects now So I'm just, uh, I covered up the month and now this marigold can come from the top this way and I will bring in the month later and back to the functional aspects. So just uh, pulling out my pre-planning booklet that I just made and then try, I'm going with the three colors, the red, the green and the golden color, everything in glitter. So I'm just pulling multiple sizes just to have everything laid out and then I'll go make clusters. So just making sure I pick the correct shade of the golden and there is also a rose gold version in there. And if you have not seen me uh, make this pre-planning booklet, I posted this uh, video uh, on my YouTube. So I will link it below and please go watch it. It's a nice thing. You don't have to uh, use any new sticker sheets or anything just you're just reusing the used sticker sheets from your sticker box just going in with the white out pen before I get the uh, boxes down and then adding uh, the combination of the three colors I need boxes for every day I don't quite know what is coming but I need to have boxes multiple boxes for each day of the week aligning it horizontally and vertically just to bring bring in some interest I don't want it to be entirely symmetrical to the left side I'm just going in for more clusters trying to figure out where each of those could go 
and uh, I think the bottom part is pretty much done and then going with my happy planner stencil to make some lines along the top and then going to get the month in clear from the Mojo Dojo plans rainbow dated sticker book and then I go with some uh, colors in these three coordinating colors for the days of the week I just leave the uh, dates as such but bring in color on the days of the week right below the numbers so that brings a pop of color and then going back to the stands with the fireworks so the fireworks come in and then the rockets come in again and uh, that really brings in a col some colors at the top also so i'm just bringing the bringing in that uh, basket of marigolds on the left left page to bring in some more color outside of the middle part and then trying to match that color with florals on the left side sticking out of the boxes and uh, not too much but i just wanted to bring in some balance for the colors because otherwise it would be really imbalanced so that's what i'm trying to do here trying to figure out um, how i can bring in the flowers without uh, uh, compromising on the uh, functional boxes so just another slim box there now let's do a quick recap of what we used so we brought in the essential holidays from the happy planner and then these three sticker books the glitter boxes the rainbow shapes and the rainbow dated from mojo jojo plants and the stamps from craft angles and coco daisy and also the ink versa fine claire for the red and the washi tapes from the happy planner that's how we what we finally ended up using if you like today's video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future content give me a comment below as to what your favorite part of today's uh, video was was it the stamping or bringing in the colors trying to balance out the colors what was your favorite part thank you so much for watching and uh, hope you have a great diwali if you're celebrating and I will catch you in my next one. Bye. So here, as you can see, I brought in uh, those red washi tapes as a third layer.